My name is David DeLuca. I'm a senior storage solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'll walk through a demonstration of the Amazon FSx for Windows file server. Let's get started. Amazon FSx for Windows file server provides a fully managed native Windows file system. As a fully managed service, it eliminates the administrative overhead of setting up and provisioning file servers and storage volumes. Amazon FSx keeps Windows software up to date, detects and addresses hardware failures, and performs backups. It also provides rich integration with other AWS services. We know that customers depend on a lot of features and capabilities from their file server. And for that reason, FSx for Windows File Server provides a complete set of enterprise-grade functionality. Let's take a closer look at some of these features in the demonstration. In the AWS Management Console, FSx is located under the Storage category. Click Create File System. There are two versions of FSx. For this demonstration, we're going to focus on FSx for Windows File Server. You have the option of naming the file system. We now select the deployment type. Multi-AZ file systems are designed to maintain availability of your data in the event that an availability zone is inaccessible. Multi-AZ includes an active and standby file server in separate availability zones that are automatically synchronized. Single AZ deployment replicates the data within an availability zone to protect from component failure. However, in the unlikely event that an AZ is inaccessible, you would not have access to the file system. Next, we select the storage type. Amazon FSx for Windows File Server provides consistent sub-millisecond latencies with SSD storage and single-digit millisecond latencies with HDD storage. For all file systems, FSx provides a fast in-cache memory on the file server. Next, we enter the starting capacity for the file system. FSx provides a recommended throughput based on the storage type and capacity of the file system. If you want to configure a specific throughput, you can select between 8 megabytes per second and 2 gigabytes per second. Under Network and Security, we select the VPC from which we want this file system to be accessible. If you're planning to access this file system from on-premises, please select a VPC that is routable from your VPN or Direct Connect link. We specify the security group or groups, and we can specify the preferred subnets within our VPC. Since we chose multi-AZ, we can select two subnets. Next, we need to configure Windows authentication using Active Directory. There are two options. The first is to use an AWS managed Active Directory. I've already configured this directory as test.corp.com. The second option is to connect to an existing Active Directory. Please note that your AD controllers and DNS servers must be reachable from the VPC subnets that we selected above. If they are, you can connect to your AD by specifying the credentials in these fields. Your data is automatically encrypted using AWS Key Management Service. We also have a couple of optional fields. FSx will create a default DNS name. If you want to specify custom DNS names, you can enter them here. Under Backup and Maintenance, you can enable or disable automatic backups, set a backup window, and specify the retention policy. Maintenance, such as software patches, occur infrequently. But when it is needed, the maintenance window is your opportunity to control what date and time this patching will occur. Finally, you can always add tags to help identify and track any AWS service. The file system has been created and is available. Note that we can manually modify the file system's storage capacity and throughput at any time. The next step is to attach this FSx file system to a Windows host. I'm going to copy the DNS name into my clipboard. 
This is an Amazon EC2 virtual machine running Windows. This Windows host is a member of the same domain as my FSX file system. I'm going to type two backslashes and then paste the DNS name from my clipboard. This is our FSX file system. Notice that there is a default shared folder simply called share. To map the share as a drive letter, right click and select map network drive. It's important to note that FSX is not a single share. It is a file system in which you can create multiple shares. Let's launch the Windows Shared Folders service. We can connect to the FSX file system and use the wizard to create additional file shares. When we refresh this window, the new department share is now visible. And like any Windows file system, we can create directories, assign Windows access control list permissions, and create files. This concludes our demonstration of the Amazon FSX for Windows file server. Thank you for your time.